reverse lookup. Reverse lookup, I will have to share my screen again, which means I'm going to go, I'm going to become a little box. Okay, reverse lookup is this. Um, when you get a, when you go to the control tab, I'll have to move myself so I can see what I'm doing. Um, when you have programs uh, reported back in the biofeedback and you save it as a program, you can load that program later. Let's have a look at the one that got saved before. Now I've got to think of what I called it. I call it temp and I saved it in the custom database. So I'll select custom and mm, no. Uh, what did I call it? Well let's choose a random a random program. Um, I'll reselect the all the databases and load them all in. And I'll choose a program that's got a few frequencies, maybe four. Let's let's pick an on abdominal cramps again, my, my personal favorite one there. Now the if I go to the control tab and I load them into the generator, the frequencies will appear in the frequencies list. And of course the program name is here. There's a little box called reverse lookup here. I can now search within this tolerance, find the frequencies that match those frequencies within the database. So frequent, I've clicked that, it's come back with a report. And every single program that's specified here has the frequencies, one or more of the frequencies within the abdominal cramps program. And so first of all, it finds a match for 72, which is the first frequency that's in the program. And it tells you all the programs which contain 72 hertz. And then it looks at the next frequency and finds all the matches for, for 95 hertz and so on. Now, if you're getting too many hits or too many matches, what you do is you reduce the tolerance. 0.1% is actually a, low, a lousy tolerance. If you want to be precise, you'd want to use something like 0.0. To five percent tolerance, and then you can re-perform the scan, and then the list will be reduced. It, now, um, you can also include another frequency that you manually enter here, forty-five, and then it'll also add forty-five to the list of frequencies that it's trying to find. And so there's forty-five at the top there, and all the all the programs that contain forty-five hertz. You can save this as a text file for later reviewing or sharing with other people. Oops, and it's um, saved it. <laughs> okay, and so that's that, which I wanted to cover.